Crypto, man. 30 years of riding, wait, wait, no. 35 years of riding together. I think we first did this California route in 1997 or whatever. So, and obviously we re rode in college and Joe's like a master at planning trips. I mean, we've had some amazing trips. He takes great pride in the routes. He finds his cool hotels. And I'm so pumped, Joe, man. I can't well, thank you enough, pal. I'm super excited. This is gonna be fantastic. We start out in Los Angeles, heading up towards San Luis Obispo, going through some of the most remote terrain in all of California. Oh man, really? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be fantastic. That? We're on adventure bikes. It's right. gonna be easy. All right. Only people that'll be in these areas is probably people in Jeeps or maybe small dogs. We, I just, I hope, uh, hope we don't run into really too challenging a terrain. Joe and I were just talking on the intercom about watching the long way home movies or long way around or whatever the f they're called with Ian, what's his name, and the other dude. We're out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we were near Las Padres National Forest. Yeah, it was a pretty rough day. End of the day, sun's setting. We're on the home stretch to be in for the day. And he pulls over, and I look, and his tire is flat. Okay, we just pulled this big fing metal. I had a vice grip, so we pulled that thing out of there. It was dug in. That thing is like all the way in. That thing is like three inches long. When it when it happened, when I realized I had the flat, I was all that could go through my head was, God, this is Tom's first day and the sun's going down and what, you know, he's tired, I'm tired. What, how are we gonna how are we gonna get this this fixed? The sun's setting, we're in the middle of nowhere. We just, we had just passed a coyote. So yeah, did I think about the end? Of course I did. Who wouldn't in that situation? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I was scared, but I was motivated. I mean, I, I, when we pulled over and I realized I had a flat, it was like, God, we have like maybe, maybe 30 minutes of sunlight. And then there we are out in the middle of Soda Lake. You know, no reception, 60 miles from San Luis Obispo. What are we going to do? You know, there's wildlife out here. We already seen a couple of coyotes. At that point, I was just so impressed with Joe and how he just like sprang to action. Hopefully put air in the tire and let's see if it holds. There's it did I mean you know in moments like those you start thinking about the ones you love and your family and how much they mean to you and you know this motorcycle riding really worth all that and is it really worth putting those those times at risk and 